Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. We took a two week hiatus. Um, you guys didn't notice that though because I put out some uh, other videos. But we were out of town for a couple weeks. Friends come take care of the rabbits and chickens and the dogs. I had someone take care of our dogs as well. And got to enjoy some nice warm weather. And now we're back here in Alaska. And this is just kind of a quick update video. I had put out a video uh, before we left actually on some of the uh, problems that we've been having with the extreme cold. We left, we're gone for two weeks. Uh, both vehicles sat. The Tahoe we drove down to the airport and that sat in a parking lot at the airport and the Escape sat here in the garage. Heated and everything but you can, as you can probably hear, they're running. Um, but yeah. The escape's here, like I said, in the garage. Uh, I've been having to put it on the triple charger to keep the battery up. I'm gonna have to break down and buy a battery for this. It's not seen charged very well. Um, alternator's fine, doing fine, charging. But uh, it's running. It hasn't ran for a little bit. Couldn't charge it when I get, got home. Tahoe, uh, it seems to be charging and just fine. Evidently when you leave a vehicle even with a good battery and negative 18 weather for um, a couple weeks, it tends to Here's a funny story. <laughs> it's not, it wasn't funny at the time, but it's kind of funny now. Anyway, so we got onto our flight in Salt Lake. Uh, it had been delayed about an hour if they oversold the flight. We flat, fast forward, we get on, we fly all the way back here. Uh, our flight was once again delayed because they could not get the ramp out to the airplane to unload. So after about an hour, they decided to finally hook it up and back the plane out and go to another gate. We did that, uh, finally got off the plane. The original plan was for Jackie and the kids to go down and get the, um, the luggage. Once we started heading towards that way, um, we decided that instead of having them go get the luggage and then me uh, go down and get the Tahoe, clean it off, get it warmed up and come pick them up, uh, we decided we were just gonna all take the luggage just because I thought it was gonna be too much for Jackie to try and wrangle the kids and three, uh, three luggage bags. Uh, we decided just to get the luggage and all of us, all five of us, go down to the Tahoe. Uh, last minute change actually ended up being better in a way and not so great in another. Got down to the Tahoe. I had, as we're walking down to it, I kept hitting the auto start, nothing's happening. And I was like, oh, maybe the remote just isn't, you know, we were in a parking garage and I was like, maybe it's just not getting the signal. Anyway, we get out there, I get right up to it, and I can't get it. Uh, try to unlock it with the regular one, wouldn't unlock. Anyway, I put the key in, unlocked it, put the key into the ignition, nothing, absolutely nothing. Mind you, <clears throat> we were supposed to be in uh, at 1.56 in the morning. This was now um, a quarter to three o'clock in the morning. So... I'm like, crap, all right, well, we get in, try to, you know, get the kids loaded in and everything, and, and I had asked Jackie if she could check in the back while I popped the hood, she could check in the back for the jumper cables. No cables, uh, this is, it's now just after three in the morning, there's like absolutely no one out. Uh, we saw a total of four people, uh, none of which had jumper cables or necessarily wanted to help us. Luckily, we were like 50 yards from the parking uh, building. So I went into the parking building. They had a jumper box. I borrowed the jumper box. The jumper box wasn't enough to turn over the Tahoe. Uh, Jackie's making phone calls. I'm making phone calls, texting, trying to figure out how to you know, figure this out. Then we, um, we tried the tow, tow truck company. Uh, they were going to charge us two hundred dollars he said you know said it could be between two hundred four hundred dollars for uh them to come out because it's after hours and 
uh, weekend and you know blah 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 uh, finally someone has suggested we call a cab because they usually have jumper cables or a jumper box so we did that and finally um, the cab driver come out, hooked up his little, it's just this little teeny tiny box thing, hooked it up. I turned, went to turn it over, started. Sat there, let it warm up, loaded everything up. Um, I guess you have to pay the cab driver 25 bucks whether it st starts or not. So I paid the cab driver 25 bucks, uh, got it started and got out of there. It was snowing, cold, roads were crappy. Finally, we get home at just about seven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> we were supposed to have left at two and been able to get here back home at three. Didn't get back home until seven o'clock in the morning. It was a bit of a nightmare, lots of stress. Everyone's cold, cranky, tired. But anyway, we got back and uh, yeah, so that's the story on that one. <laughs> <laughs> quite an adventure and no I did not get any video um, there was just too much going on and honestly I didn't think about getting video I just wanted to get the Tahoe started and get back home so we finally did and got home and everything's good now we did get the wheels on before we left I can feel it pretty awesome some people don't I actually am not a huge fan of black wheels, but I don't think it looks too bad. So. That's what they look like for, don't mind the dirtiness, but uh, anyway, yeah, I think they look pretty good. For $900 with good snow tires, that the studs are worn down, but the snow tires are still good. But uh, for $900, you can't beat it, especially for SUV tires. So I'm not upset. I'm okay with them. Um, while I was in Utah, I took advantage of cheaper prices, picked up a few things. Um, and I'm already enjoying them. Got this insulated vest. Um, got some nice insulated gloves. Nice leather gloves that are insulated. So uh, pretty happy about those. And uh, everything seems to be working pretty good. And I spent a fraction of the cost that I would have spent uh, up here. So all the animals seem to be, do seem to be doing pretty good and uh, we're just trying to keep up on the watering. So the, uh, we put some of the plastic cover over the windows on the inside of the house, which has seemed to help with um, the condensation and with uh, keeping heat in the house. So that's gonna work for now. And then we will readdress some of the issues we're having with the windows in the springtime when we can actually start doing something about it. So that's the update on that as far as what we've been dealing with with the cold temperatures. Now it's just kind of keeping up on the waters and feeding of the animals and just enjoying the holidays. Uh, hopefully here in the coming weeks we're going to have... Uh, once we get caught up on everything around here, now that we're back and <clears throat> get through the holidays, we will have some adventure videos, try to get out and do some adventures, uh, break out the snowshoes maybe, and um, do a little bit of exploring that way. So hopefully we'll bring you some more adventure videos um, in the coming, coming weeks. With that being said, we're gonna end this video here. Uh, and like always, have a great one, and we'll see you in the next video.